Hiya folks, Antar1011 here, and I am back with a new black and white battle. My opponent today is Sihana6, who PM'd me through YouTube. Uh, if you want to challenge me, that is the best way to get a hold of me, challenging me through YouTube, and we'll set something up. Um, you send me a PM. Anyway, uh, she leads off with uh, Mind Shao, and I lead off with my Peanut, um, my Spinner, Stealth Rocker, what have you. Anyway, uh, obvious fake out is obvious, and I really wish that Mental Herb um, worked on flinch in addition to taunt and everything else. But so, yeah, Mind Shao has no reason to stay in and go ahead and switches out. Um, so it was just a wasted turn. Uh, broke my sturdy and whatnot. Um, although U turn would have done the same thing. So, um, still did a little more damage. Anyway, I get up the, my stealth rock and I'm obviously going to want to switch out with the slow bro up. Um, and, you know, I might need peanut for later. So I go ahead and send in my touch coma, my Rotom wash form. And my opponent, uh, excellent prediction here, T-Wave for the Parahax against my uh, Scarfed Rotom Wash form. It is now basically crippled. Um, so Slowbro is switched out, and he sends a Melt Tank, and I'm like, oh man, that was such an excellent prediction because I'm going for the Shadow Ball. And then here comes the Shadow Ball, and I'm like, what? Why is it hidden? And it's because Mill Tank has Scrappy. And wow, awesome crit awesome amount of damage. Um, really fortunate that, that that happened at that point. Uh, unfortunately, I get parahaxed here, so that kind of makes up for the crit. Um, and Miltank's going to go ahead and go for the milk drink, and that's going to restore its health by half. Um, but yeah, so um, Scrappy can backfire on you, uh, because even though you can now hit ghost types, ghost types can also hit you. So after two parahaxes, I go ahead and switch out, and I go ahead and send in human my um, <clears throat> my Embor, and I figure that I'm gonna chase him out. Um, milk tank goes for another milk drink, um, and so I mispredicted that uh, milk tank would be switched out. Instead, I'm gonna go for um, oh wait, no, 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 sorry, I'll turn early. So now I go for the flame charge, predicting the switch out. There is no switch out, unfortunately, um, but at least I got a speed boost, so that's great. Um, yeah, my speed rises, and this is an obvious mill tank set using body slam and whatnot. And I'm just hoping for no para hacks here because that would be awful. Um, but so far, so good. Um, I'm I go ahead and use superpower, fully expecting it to one hit KO. I mean, mill tank is bulky, but it is stab, uh, super effective, and human has amazing attack. Unfortunately, this uh, this breed is not uh, EV trained that much for attack, it's mostly in HP and speed, so it doesn't do as much as I would have hoped, and I do not get the kill here. Um, life Leftovers are keeping me alive, um, I go ahead and go for the head smash, predicting a switch again, but uh, no such luck, uh, and I miss on top of everything else, and gets me down to one freaking HP with that body slam, but I do survive, restore some health with um, leftovers. At this point you might be wondering, 210 HP, that seems like kind of a weird number. Look at the um, level. Uh, we're playing at level 56 because uh, my opponent does not focus save or um, hack items, so couldn't get all of the Pokemon to level 100, so I was like, that's okay, I can meet you halfway, I can meet you at level 56. Because I think my Selgor needs to be at level 56. I'm not sure if it's a Selgor or someone else who um, needs to be at that level. I can't be any. Uh, I, I can't be any lower. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and switch out, uh, figuring I can use my um, Embor for Death Potter later on. Um, predict the fake out is obvious. Um, Dave is going to be a okay there, and you know, switch out here is going to be fairly obvious. So I'm just going to go for a calm mind on the next turn. Um, Mind Shao goes first with a U-turn, which is super effective, but even so, I didn't expect it to do that much. I think that was a crit. No! No, it wasn't a crit. That's actually rather impressive. Um, I've taken Mind Shao off of my um, teams, but it's a really cool Pokemon. I really like it. Anyway, um, switches into Umbreon, and like, oh no, it's payback, uh, you know, because I, you know, I'm known for my Umbreon. Um, that has ruined so many people's days in PBR. Not so much in Gen 5 yet, but I'm still getting the hang of it. Um, but so I'm at plus one, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to outspeed him. I don't think it is a speedy Umbreon. Most aren't. Uh, oh, actually, no, it does outspeed me, but he goes. Uh, it goes for the wish. Uh, he goes for the wish, and I go ahead and go for the focus blast, and I'm hoping that at plus one, I can take it out. And I'm just praying here, but, you know, it is an Umbreon, so I'm not sure here. 
And indeed, yes. Plus one. Oh, it's because it's a crit. Maybe the crit mattered, maybe it didn't. I'd have to run the counts. Anyway, that kind of blows. Anyway, um, next out uh, for my opponent is Miss Magius. Uh, I hate Miss Magius. I just have a hard time dealing with it. Um, I don't know. Uh, but Shadow Ball is probably going to KO me, even with that plus one special um, defense. But yeah, Dave is down for the count. And um, I gotta consider who to send out next. Um, so, by the way, uh, I have, since I've had this battle, actually in the past week or so, I have uh, redone this team um, to be compliant with the new UU tier. I guess it's not that old, uh, new now, it's now a month old. Um, the UU tier, um, as Smogon has it, although it's also compatible with the Pokemon Online. Um, Pokemon Online UU tier. So if you feel like having a UU battle, I can do that. So yeah, anyway, um, Miss Magius goes ahead and subs up, uh, predicting that one of my Shadow Balls is going to um, not, uh, predicting that I'm going to get the pair of hats at some point. But so far so good, that's two in a row that I've broken his subs, and no para hacks yet. Here comes number three, and I'm just hoping no para hacks, no para hacks, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Especially considering how bad luck I had earlier in the match. There's been kind of a lot of hacks in this match, but it's been a good battle because it's been mostly balanced. Um, so yeah, third uh, substitute phase, and I'm like, oh god, oh god, oh god. So here comes a, another shadow ball. Oh, he, you know, my opponent uses shadow ball. Hits really hard, gets me down to 44 HP. I go ahead and Shadow Ball right on back for the uh, obvious KO. Um, and that's awesome. So, yeah, bye bye, Miss Magius. And, you know, we're doing pretty well here. Uh, so, next up is Leaveny. Um, and I'm like, oh god, it's gonna be a Quiver Dance. I really hope I don't um, get paraxed here. Uh, decides not to go for the Quiver Dance. Instead, goes for the Leaf Blade to take out my Rotom Wash form. Super effective hit, but. I was down to pretty low HP and I don't think it was really necessary. I go ahead and send out my Acelgore here. Uh, mm, excuse me. Acelgore, um, super effective Bug Buzz, uh, boosted by Bug Gem. I'm hoping it's going to be enough to take it out, but we shall see. We shall see. And indeed it is. And I don't think that was a crit. Oh no, it was a crit, but I really don't think it mattered. Um, feel free to run the couch and tell me that I'm wrong. Uh, so anyway, next out was Mind Shao, and I'm predicting a fake out here, and so I'm gonna go for the recover. And so the, I get the recover off, which is kind of nice, but I'm like, oh, he wasn't going for the um, fake out. I wonder what's going to happen now. Um, Mind Shao goes for Stone Edge, and unfortunately for me, he does not miss hits. And thanks to the fact that uh, Jane is Bug type and not that bulky, is going to go down. Uh, my Jane is going to go down, and that is that. Uh, so Sad Pandas, uh, his mind shot is back up to full HP thanks to Regenerator. Um, and I go ahead and send up Peanut, which is a pretty good uh, physical wall. And so I'm feeling pretty confident here. Mind shot goes ahead and U-turns, which you know, is not unexpected, um, but it is what it is. Uh, so bye bye Mind Shao, and out next is going to be his Slowbro, but that's okay. Free damage on Slowbro, super effective hit and whatnot. Um, I'm wondering whether that Slowbro is running um, Regenerator as well. I don't know whether Slowbro does run Regenerator in the Dream World. I can't remember. I know that Slow King does. But anyway, um, Surf is obvious here. Gonna go ahead and send in Human, my Embor for the Death Fodder, um, and yeah, here comes the Surf. Uh, quite obvious, uh, and Embor is down. Um, but that's okay, now I'm gonna get in a free switch, and that is going to um, be awesome here. I go ahead and go for, uh, go ahead and send in my Roomba. Um, maybe switching out, may not. I consider setting up the sub, but instead I decide to just play it safe and go for the T-Bolt. Mineshell, for all of its um, awesomeness, is not that bulky, and so I'm really hoping that this T-Bolt is going to kill it. Uh, here it comes. Boom, and drumroll please, the tension is building, will I, will it KO, and yes it does, yes, good job Roomba, and there goes his Mind Shao, and finally, last up is Slowbro, um, and this is the game, um, so Roomba goes ahead and goes for the Thunderbolt, and um, his Slowbro is going to die, or the Slowbro is going to die, and that is that. So, uh, good game, Sihana6. Um, folks, ch uh, challenge me, comment, rate, and subscribe. So long.